We are a group of four church congregations and their heritage structures and landscapes. Gower Street United Church, St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church, the Anglican Cathedral of St. John the Baptist, and the Basilica of St. John the Baptist. We have been a National Historic District of Canada since 2007. Our district's working group conserves, restores, and interprets our heritage and prepares for World Heritage Inscription. European migratory fisheries to the Grand Banks of Newfoundland began around the year 1500. Newfoundland codfish became the principal source of protein for Europe for 400 years. Small permanent settlements began here in the 17th and 18th centuries. The Church of England Parish of St. John's was founded in 1699, the oldest in what is now Canada. English, Scottish and Irish immigrants thrived in close proximity. In 1784, the Irish founded the oldest English-speaking Roman Catholic parish in North America. These cultures built churches featuring the best work of European artisans in stained glass, architecture, and statuary. Our buildings inspired others from St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York to the Peace Tower in Ottawa to chapel and convent buildings in Ireland and oratories in the French Alps. Today, how do we deploy our heritage to engage with a wider community and with visitors? We do stained glass restoration, structural repairs, and conservation. We sponsor recitals, choral performances, publications, and conferences. Our ecclesiastical district tour leads visitors to discover communities and people who made profound cultural and social contributions, who established schools, hospitals, fraternal and youth organizations. Our churches and their communities were built for centuries, and they've made us unique. But now climate change is a growing threat to conservation. Hurricanes in the Atlantic are now more powerful and have damaged windows, high towers, and roofs at the Kirk and the Basilica. Repairs are no longer good enough. Restoration must be identical, but more durable than the original constructions. Modern urban Non-conforming developments also negatively impact our cultural heritage and landscapes. City bureaucrats proposing incompatible new construction in our district have been a goliath to our David. We look to world heritage status for its international protection, scrutiny, and recognition of a fragile but irreplaceable built heritage.